Hi there, sign of Taurus. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. We are going to pull from tarot, uh, a Celtic cross. I hope you're doing really well. Thank you so much for showing up, liking, sharing, subscribing. And for those of you that have gotten private readings, I appreciate you. So my love sending it right out there. Angels, spirit guides, please join us. Give us messages for Taurus, for their most high, always for your good. <clears throat> Through whatever journey they might be going through. I'm going to shuffle a few more times. You can never be too safe. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. I don't know why, but those both of those messages are coming out. <laughs> She's very Taurus like, though, anyway, right? <clears throat> Queen of Cups in the reverse. You might want to think about your health. On a serious note, you may want to think about your health. You want to, you may want to say like, how long has it been since I've had my labs tested? Um, you know, a complete blood count, or you know, just something that will show you if you're um, doing all right. Like if everything's functioning the way that it should. And if it's not, then you can address it. So, I don't know. Just getting that for a few people. I think basic lab work can be drawn even at the public health department. I think. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, there is the fool in reverse. The queen of pentacles. The eight of wands. The moon in the past. The nine of pentacles in reverse. The world in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Five of Wands. <laughs> Wish granted. Two for the outcome. Mm. Okay. If you've been waiting on something from a commitment to resolve or something about a, a commitment, um, possibly in love because the hierophant doesn't have to necessarily be it can be any kind of commitment but if there was an issue with this with something being done i don't know maybe going a traditional route it's like we're either losing patience or it's time it can it can actually mean either of those things. either way it's going to be time divine timing Feels like not everybody's going to agree with your decisions, but I don't think that's going to matter to you. <clears throat> hmm. Eight. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Aquarius had energy with the Eight of Wands in reverse, too as an issue um, with communication, possibly regarding a Capricorn or Queen of Pentacles energy. This energy has been in your readings for a while now, this Queen of Pentacles. Um, this could be, you know, the challenge about how you like to live life, the luxuries that you have. Um, maybe, maybe if you're not feeling so abundant right now, I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe we're not feeling as great as we could. Uh, maybe we don't have everything we want right now. I don't know. There's there's a need to um, move forward, proceed forward with faith and having a, um, a learner's mind being open to, you know, going through something without judging it from something from the past. So your angels are trying to work with this divine timing now I'm really thinking that that Seven of Pentacles in reverse is that the timing to, um, yeah, the timing has come for some kind of either, ch some kind of choice and consequence. <clears throat> Empress energy on the bottom. Temperance is, is divine timing, but it's unfolding, but it's also assistance from your angels, from the angelic realm. There's no judgment from them of what your experience is. 
There's no judgment at all in any part that you are in. So open up your lines of communication with spirit. So even if somebody doesn't agree with you here, you're not all alone. Because this is the energy, the Three of Pentacles in reverse is the energy of feeling like you're all alone in something. What else can temperance mean? Of course, balance. Um, tempering. You see, it feels like you're staying out of a conflict. Like you're, There's no time for silly games and stuff like that. So temperance, divine timing, unwinding, it feels like. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Tell us more about that. Five of Wands in the reverse. Same as this one, basically. Well, that might be why communication... It might be why we haven't moved forward is because we're just really not looking forward to conflict or a I don't know words having words with someone it's like so we're avoiding this it's regarding regarding uh what we are not giving up on so our perseverance is there we're not communicating to others too about exactly how we're handling this five of wands energy Hmm. Feels like something divine is trying to unwind or but it's going to take faith in yourself here. And it may take letting go of something from the past. The moon, you could be having a Pisces influence in your life here. Um I think it's just the moon showing you that, yes, it was necessary to take baby steps to get you where you are. Um, yes, your intuition has increased. Your psychic abilities are better. And yes, you're probably noticing that. Not everything is revealed, but the things that are hidden, I feel like you know. Feeling like... Look, either we've lost some drive and motivation here in the past, and maybe it's because we didn't feel like we got the whole truth out of a situation, out of a person or situation. Like, that that's this illusionment. But it's coming across this dishonesty. Like, so maybe some dishonesty surprised you. All right. Why do we feel alone with the Three of Pentacles? Why do we feel alone? You have 999 in your reading, by the way, 999. Um, that's a really big call towards soul mission, um, closing, time to harvest, time to pick, time for a new cycle. There you go. Um, maybe you feel it. Maybe psychic ability is telling you that there is a new cycle coming in. And maybe you just feel that more than ever. So there might be a sense of like nervousness slash anticipation. Uh, could be Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Just have to find the, that missing puzzle piece. Oh, look, the candle went out. Candle went out. The focus is gone. The focus is gone. Maybe that's past, because that's kind of what that is. is you know, we're not being, not being open to many possibilities, but just kind of thinking that has to be a certain way is going out the window, I think. I will light a candle and set the intention for your highest good. For tourists, may they have prosperous uh, money and spiritual and abundance, uh, wealthy and always. So there's a new candle lit. Four of Pentacles um, is just saying, hey, are you holding on too tightly to something? 
in your environment. Um, also, I feel like some people are definitely staying out of games and drama because they're worried, uh, not worried, they're working on rebuilding with the Four of Pentacles. On rebuilding. And you see that getting your power back feels like, because these buildings are very powerful to me as far as the material realm. And her chair is like the same height as what those powerful buildings would be. So I think prosperity is, is going to come. It's just a sign of it. What's the Nine of Pentacles doing in the reverse? There could be, this could be a sign of a codependent relationship. Yeah, especially with the Two of Cups coming out, right? Okay. And the Hierophant is touching the Hierophant too. Not everybody is going to have that dealing with codependent relationships. Some of you all are waiting on a financial outcome from a partnership to uh, come in. And that's just kind of like it's coming. Um, I always say they're, it, the cards are like when they're in the reverse, they're in the mail. So they're coming. And it feels like you've been waiting for a payout but haven't received it. Or something is not as... Or something isn't paying off as code. Of, it is. It doesn't. Doesn't feel equal. Is what it is. <laughs> what is? Um, what's the world about? Something is a lot about money here. Something is a lot about money here. I'll say that. The hanged one. Virgo energy waiting on this person perhaps the queen of pentacle uh or the capricorn energy like to get back into the swing of things having things like you like it you know what i mean comfortable things like that um it's just waiting 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 for a new chapter yeah, you should be able to see from a different perspective at this point because you've been hanging from a different spot than everybody else. So you've gotten a different view. You have your own unique perspective of whatever this is. And this is waiting period. You know, in the hanged, the hanged one, it's you that's on the tree normally. So meaning you are hanging by your um, foot. You can actually reach it. You can get yourself down. You can come down from this tree uh, once you're, I guess, satisfied with whatever perspective change or shift you had to have to come down, right? Tell me a little bit more about what we are attached to here. King of Pentacle energy. Business, being the leader, um, being the boss, being the, being a very, maybe our money or business, being very attached to that. Which, you are Taurus. <laughs> so, look, I think it, it is saying that we need to be more attached to being ourselves, being authentically who we are, instead of waiting on somebody else to change, possibly. Okay, so Nine of Cups is um, feeling completely satiated, right? You're fine. You've got everything. You don't really need anything else. Um, it feels like all your wishes are granted at this point because you could you have everything you could possibly want. But there's usually one thing missing with the Nine of Cups that will give you um, more fulfillment, emotionally at least. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Seven of Wands. You have to stand up for it, to go after it. And also, there feels like you're having to defend um, a relationship or commitment. Having to defend. Maybe it's now time to go forth and defend. <laughs> I don't know. Defend oneself. Fighting um, off naysayers. Seven, seven, being bold, being brave. 
Yeah, it's divine time for some action regarding a commitment. And that's going to be very different to all of you all. Because like I said, commitment could be external. Some kind of external control coming in from outside. Hopeful new beginnings. Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Really great card to get. So let me pull your angel numbers. Taurus. It was a good reading. It was a good reading. <sighs> Let's clean your space too. Um, also on uh, TikTok, I will pull one of the Oracle of Genetic Gifts for you. So to clean your space to Taurus, to free you from any kind of heavy attached energy. Whew. Angel number message. You have lots of numbers anyway in your reading. The nines, nine, nine, nine. You have sevens. Uh... Nines, sevens, 44, I'm supported, 21 and 29. 21, I'm inspiring, is about being highly creative, um, with the strong will to succeed, and really others would look up to you, so you're inspiring to others. Then I have 29, you're highly intuitive and creative. You have a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. Then I have master number 44, I am supported. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. That's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.